Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to talk a little bit about what MongoDB is as well as how we can go about installing MongoDB. So MongoDB is a NoSQL database which uses collections and documents. It is not a relational database like SQL based databases are with tables and columns. So for example, let's pretend that we have a database called school. Now this school has two collections. It has a collection for students and it has a collection for faculty. Now, if we take a look at the student collection, we can see that we have a sample document. So this is just one document. In reality, students will be made up of many documents. And this document is basically a JSON file. Now internally, MongoDB stores it as binary JSON, but for our purposes, we get it back as a JSON file. So if you haven't worked with JSON files before, basically you have a property and you have a value. So in this case, we have a document with the property of name and we have the value of Bob. We have a property of GPA and we have the value of 4.0 and we have a property of classes, which is an array that contains all the classes that this particular student is taking. And likewise, we would have the same thing for faculty and faculty would have its own document, have its own properties and values. So now that we have that out of the way, let's actually install MongoDB. So I'm just going to head over to Chrome and I already have this up. But if you go to MongoDB.com, you'll be greeted with a page similar to this. Now I'm just going to go to the upper right hand side, get MongoDB. We're going to go to servers and we're going to download the community server. We're going to go down here and instead of saying zip, what we're going to do is download the MSI version. So go ahead and click that and click download. Now I already have this downloaded. So if I go back to my desktop, you can see that I have my MSI file here. So now I'm just going to double click this to install it. And click next, accept the terms next. Complete install, next, next, next. And now this is gonna take a while to install, so just wait for it to install. Now I'm gonna click finish, but we're not done yet. Now we need to tell Windows where we installed our MongoDB server. So head on down here. I'm gonna type File Explorer. We're gonna go down to our C drive. We're going to go to program files. We're going to go down to MongoDB. We're going to go to the server 4.0 bin. And if we go down here, MongoD, this is essentially our MongoDB server. So now that we have the path of where this is located, I'm just going to copy this. We're going to go down here again. I'm going to type environment. We're going to go up here, edit system environment variables. We're going to go to environment variables. We're going to go down to system variables. And now we need to tell Windows the path that our MongoDB server is in. So I'm just going to click edit here. We're going to click new. I'm going to paste in the path. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Now I'm going to go down here one more time. And this time we're going to type CMD. This is going to bring up the command prompt. Click that. And now if you did everything correctly, you could type in MongoD. And this is going to start the server. Now we're going to get an error. And that's because if we look down here, we can see that it says data directory C drive data slash db is not found and that is terminating the process. So let's actually create this folder. So now I'm just going to go down here. We're going to go to local disk C because that's where it told us to create this folder. I'm going to right click. We're going to call it data, just like it said, data. We're going to go inside the data folder, make a new folder, and we're going to name it db. So once we have our data and our DB folder, if we go back to the command prompt, 
type MongoD. You can see down here that we have waiting for connections on port 27017. And that means that our MongoDB server is up and running. 